Hi guys, Dane here, and today I just wanted to do a quick review of Bird Box by Josh Malaman. I've actually just finished watching the Netflix uh, movie version of it as well. They are quite different, but they do have some similarities too. So with this one, I didn't put flags throughout it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the blurb and share a few of my thoughts. So, uh, most people dismissed the reports on the news, but they became too frequent, they became too real, and soon it was happening to people we knew. Then the internet died, the televisions and radios went silent, the phones stopped ringing and we couldn't look outside anymore. Josh Malaman's debut novel Bird Box is a terrifying psychological thriller that will haunt you long after reading. And I must say it did feel like a first novel, not in a necessarily in a bad way. It actually also had a short story near the end and um, I'll come on to something related to that in a second. But the short story was nowhere near as good as the novel, at least in my opinion. Um, I mean, it was interesting enough, I guess. I think Malaman is also, he's been a guitarist in a band before being a novelist. And so that also kind of makes me a little bit cynical going in. I'd heard loads of good stuff about this before reading it from Booktube. And so I wanted to read it before watching the uh, movie. And I did enjoy it. I think uh, I'll give it a quick rating now. Why not? I gave it a four out of five. Um, but it wasn't perfect. I think the idea itself was the best part of it. The execution, not so much. I didn't like... I know it was kind of written in that way, so you had to jump backwards and forwards through from being on the river to being in the house. But the bits on the river, it kind of felt as though nothing happened throughout that thing. That bit reminded me of like Life of Pi or something. And so I was more, in, way more in, interested in the past than in like the present element of it. I also, again, because of this uh, short story at the end, which I didn't know was in there, the ending came out of nowhere for me because I thought I had 100 pages to go. And no, the novel just ended. And then it goes into this short story, you know, and the, the ending of it seemed a little bit too easy. But again, it was because I was expecting with this much more of the book left to go. I was thinking, well, OK, you know, there's going to be another twist here or something or we're going to get to learn a little bit more about what it is that's actually out there. But no, it just it just finished. <laughs> And I was like, oh, okay then. As far as the actual physical book itself goes as well, I mean, this is from Harper Voyager, and I'm not convinced by it. Like, there's something about it that reminds me of, like, the really cheaply printed self-published books you get, but um, I don't know why. I think it might be I think it might be printed by Lightning Source, which might be why. And again, I also like uh, the way that Bird Box as the title relates back to part of the plot as well, and again, to those little illustrations there. All in all, I thought it was pretty decent. I don't know whether you would... I would say it's more horror than sort of psychological. But um, I don't know. It's got elements of a few different genres in there. It's not one of those books that you might not like it if you like everything kind of spilled out to you. But if you like that layer of uncertainty, then I think it works quite well. I would read something by Josh Malaman again in the future. But I don't think I'd necessarily go out of my way. Um, and if you... You know, if you've already seen the Netflix version of Bird Box and you don't know whether to read the book or not, you can probably get away without reading it. But if you really enjoyed it, obviously give it a go. And if not, I guess look out for uh, Malaman's next thing. Oh, I got, I got, I got a WhatsApp. I'm popular. So anyway, that's my hopefully relatively short but sweet review of Bird Box by Josh Malaman. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book and if so, what you thought about it. Let me know if you uh, watched the show on Netflix as well. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.